Today, I'm going to show you how to build this mushroom house in Minecraft. And if you want to become a better builder, make sure to subscribe. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put down the circle and it's going to be five on the side and then it's going to have two diagonal blocks. So we're just going to go ahead and make that pattern. The five by two pattern in Minecraft for circles is extremely great, especially if you need to build small circles. So I would extremely recommend it if you want to build another project like this. Now we're going to build three up and that's going to be the base of our mushroom house. And then we're going to add three blocks in the middle and then we're going to add a door. Make sure to put the door on the inside because that'll give the most amount of depth in your builds. So we're just going to continue with those three blocks in the middle and then we're going to add stairs on top of that. Head to the middle of your build and we're going to put slabs on the diagonal blocks and just follow this pattern that I make on all four sides. I know that the pattern looks a bit weird at the moment, but it'll look really nice once we add the rest of the mushroom blocks. We're just going to fill in the rest of the gaps with these two quartz blocks. And that is the end of the second layer. Now this is the start of the third layer. So just follow what I do. And then we're just going to add stairs and slabs to the top on top of that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build four up starting from the inside so we fill in these gaps. And then do it on the two other sides and this is what you should get. And then I slabbed up the outside because I realized that it would look better. This is what the outside of your mushroom should look like after all the work that we've done and then we're going to add blocks to the inside and this is the final layer of the mushroom stem. So just follow what I do. And the reason why we did it like that was so it would look beautiful on the inside. This is what the inside looked like. I think it would pair beautifully with a lovely chandelier. And this is the outside. We're going to be using red concrete for the mushroom head and we're going to put it on the previous layer and then we're going to fill that in. And then once we build that, we're going to be going out four blocks on every side. And then you're just going to go two blocks out on every side and connect them all. This part is very easy because you don't have to be perfect with it. We're going to be filling in the gaps anyway. So don't worry if you miss a block or you don't make everything perfectly even. Because like I said, we're just going to be filling it in. But make sure that the outside is perfect though. And this is what it looks like from the top. It kind of looks like from those fire hydrant shut off things. You guys know what I'm talking about? If you do, comment. Now we're going to work on the second layer and we're going to go one block inwards so we get that nice mushroom head gradient tapering going. And you're going to want to crouch when you're building your roof so you don't fall off like I just did. Those flowers, I'm looking at them in the recording and they just look so pretty. Minecraft flowers really are the best. My favorite flowers are allium, but I definitely love all of the other flowers. We're just going to continue to fill this in and then we'll get working on the third layer. And there we go. Now let's work on the third layer. Same principles as before. We're going in one every single time. So just follow this pattern and fill it in and we'll be perfect. Let's go ahead and skip this because you know the drill. Congratulations, now we're on the fourth and almost final layer of this build. So we're just gonna go ahead and fill this in. It's gonna be a five by five square with the corners not on it and we're just filling this in and now we get to work on the final layer. So now we're gonna make this, it's just gonna be a square but take off the corners. So let's just make that and fill it in and then we're gonna be almost done. So let's just take off those corners and then if you want, you can add another layer on the top. It could be a square or you could cut off the edges like we just did. And then this final layer on the bottom, we're just gonna add a block and we're just gonna add a layer on the bottom and we're just gonna do it by bridging. So you just bridge and then you're just gonna remove the block and there we go. Also, major pro tip. Don't break the block that you're standing on, otherwise that happens. This is what the roof looks like and now we're going to add the white mushroom blocks. I'm using white quartz to do this and not white concrete, but you could use white concrete if that's what you would prefer, but in my opinion white quartz looks better. And don't worry about where you place the mushroom spots. It doesn't have to be perfect if you're normally a perfectionist about things like this. 
place them randomly and it usually looks very good. I was just making sure that my mushroom spots are nicely spaced out. That's one of the tips that I would give you and yeah, this is what the mushroom house looks like when we're done. And now we're gonna add a mushroom path up to it. Like I said, we're gonna be adding this mushroom path and what you're gonna do is sweep the area, add a mushroom block, walk forward, sweep the area, add a mushroom block. It's kind of a random thing, but you want things to be appropriately spaced out. And if you just look at the way that I did it, it usually gives you a good guideline, but don't be too focused. Once you start adding all the different blocks, it looks better and better as you go along. And I love adding paths like this because it really adds extra detail to your builds gravel, coarse dirt, blocks that you used in the builds are all good things to put here. Thank you very much for making it to the end. Leave a mushroom emoji so I know that you made it. Also, let me know what you would like to see me do in my next video. And if you want to watch another Minecraft mushroom video, this is the best one on YouTube. Bye!